38. Again, didn't quite stun 39. far enough, but it's been a nice shot there, perfect on the blue. Now he's got a choice of reds to play for. Should be plain sailing from here. 44. <coughs> 45. We'll see if he gets high from this one, from the stun shot. Played that a lot more positively. Yeah, even the sound of the ball and the way it 52. went in the pocket, you could feel he'd struck that better. 53. So this black. To go 68 points in front with 83 remaining. So just two more reds required after the black. 50. Judge that nicely. It was never easy when you're running around on two cushions, and for the red he's played to the left corner, he didn't have a lot of margin. For error. 61. Just lost the cue ball a little bit. But this will put him 76 points in front with just 75 remaining. It's a positive stroke there. So easy, just a little bit of side on the, those shots and, and miss the black fin. 69. Yeah, and it's noticeable, isn't it, Stephen, that as, as the break has gone on, he's starting to hit the ball a little bit better. 69. I think he knows the importance of taking these chances today, and he's really... Maybe 76. concentrating so much on making the pot rather than the position. Once you relax a bit, you tend to, to be able to just let your, let your game flow naturally and get the position. 77. Yeah, many times I watch Mark Allen play and you can accuse him of playing a loose shot or a shot, but he really looks up for this, doesn't he? And as you say, maybe, fine. you know, because there's a fine line between giving too much emphasis on the pot rather than position, but uh, slowly but surely he seems to be getting the cue through a lot better now. 90. Chance to make his second 91. century of the tournament. We need to make a cannon here, though. None of those reds pop. Cushion first, the red to the right half ball. Perfectly described and perfectly executed. 98. Ninety-nine. Well played. That's more like it. One hundred and six. 107. A few loose positional shots halfway through this break, which sometimes, if you're not in the right frame of mind, can put you off and make you miss an easy ball. But he's kept his concentration and now he's cueing the ball beautifully. And this will stand him in good stead for the rest of the match. 123. People may have come along thinking, well, Judd drummed the way he pots and break bills, but I could say Mark Allen in this frame. 
is stealing George Thunder. 134. Magnificent, magnificent break. And 141. Mark Allen. 41. Absolutely superb. Played a great safety shot. Put your Trump in trouble. And he did the rest. That was brilliant. 2 1, Mark Allen. Well, Stephen, it doesn't cut much better than that, does it? No, that was phenomenal stuff by Mark Allen. As you say, a, a couple of slightly lax uh, strikes of the ball in the middle of that break, but he rescued it well, and, uh, you know, it's not all about Judd Trump. No, well, that, as I say, is an important thing, because it is a very psychological game, this game, but this was the good safety that Mark Allen had played, and I'm just looking at it once again. I can't really see a good safety shot so we know the way Judd likes to play try and pop his way out of trouble he went for this difficult pot there wasn't a path back to ball should he miss it he missed it went back to his seat and we witnessed a wonderfully compiled 1-4-1 so Judd Trump and I'm sure he didn't if he thought this was going to be easy he's aware that Mark Allen is really up for that because some of the determination that Mark Allen shown in that frame well sets us in good